Hi, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Leila Lemgalef, at Gilchrist Flower Shop. Whether you're attending or hosting a dinner party, or merely entertaining yourself, a floral arrangement makes a beautiful centerpiece for your table. Today I'll walk you through the steps of making a floral arrangement. Bouquets come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and budgets that can light up a room a hundred different ways. That's why the first important step is deciding on a look. Using the same flower throughout a bouquet gives off a classic and simple impression. If you want to offer something creative but don't know what, here are a few ideas. Men usually appreciate vivid combinations, and women often like pastels. Of course, if you know someone well, consider his or her favorite color. Try to find flowers that suit that person. If you don't know the style of the home, stick to greens and creams or other neutral shades. For something extra fragrant, choose hyacinths or lilies. By the way, lilies stand for purity and innocence. Other flowers have meanings too. For instance, red roses symbolize love, yellow roses symbolize jealousy, and orchids represent perfection. Look for blossoms that are just beginning to open. And keep in mind that flowers cost least when they're in season, depending on where they're grown. Next, select the right vase. You'll probably want something low so that everyone can see everyone, but if you prefer to put your bouquet on a mantle or some other surface, you might opt for a taller, more elegant vase. Today I'll mix pink and red for an ultra-feminine bouquet. The first step is to clean the leaves off of the stems and if there are any thorns, to just cut them off. These ones have already been cleaned. These are lemon leaves, we call them salal, just to work with them throughout the bouquet. Always in the same hand. Every time you add something, you just twist the whole thing. Basically, anytime you st start seeing too much, too many stems, you just add green. But you can put as much or as little uh, salal leaves as you want. It's just personal taste. Tulips uh, keep growing in water. The stems keep growing, so in a few days, if they're not cut down, they're just gonna be a lot taller than the roses. Unless you're working with a really narrow vase, it's a good idea to tie the bouquet so it doesn't fall apart. It's important to cut the stems because otherwise air bubbles will trap the vessels that are supposed to drink. And it's also a good idea to cut them at a slant to prevent them from sticking to the bottom of the box. This is a very simple but pretty arrangement.